Hey guys, this video is going to be about the Micro Air Easy Start. So I purchased two of these for my outdoor AC units. And with the goal being to stop the surge, or at least decrease the surge from the units. Because my goal is this summer to be able to run, if possible, my AC, my conventional heat pump units with these two MPP solar units. So we'll see how well that goes. It's going to be an interesting experiment trying to balance loads. In the meantime, these decrease the startup surge. That's what they're designed to do. So I bought two of these. I have two different units. I have a, a one for upstairs and one for downstairs, two-story home. So we'll see how well they go. They are not, I don't have large units. It's a two and a two and a half ton. So in comparison, there's a lot of people with a lot of larger units. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm anxious to see the numbers. There's a Bluetooth uh, app that you can hook to to these to actually see the surge and see how it decreases as this learns. It's supposed to be after five starts, it starts to learn what's going on with the, and learn how to decrease or however the little brain in there works. As far as wiring, they have directions online. It came with a little paper. Uh, so you can scan the barcode here for residential slash commercial, and it'll go. It'll walk you through all the steps. There is some specific uh, brands on there too. Mine wasn't, but the generic directions look fine. Not too difficult. I did find a little odd. The it doesn't come with an installation kit, which is fine. But they didn't even mention it online as far as not just that they didn't need it, but so it comes with just these. The wires are stripped, but but it didn't have a drop down to say, do you want to buy also, which would, I mean, I would have bought it. It was, I think they're 10 bucks. I found it afterwards, but it comes with a paper to show you the part after you get the unit. So that was a little odd to me, but, uh, but it does also show you all the connectors you need. So I just went to the local hardware and just got just a, a little multi-kit with all the connectors I needed anyway. With the exception of, you need something waterproof to poke through the plate in your AC. If you've seen any other installation videos with these micro airs, you know you, you've actually got to go through the bottom plate where the cover's at. So I had these left over from my combiner box. I actually hooked two half-inch PVC conduits to that. And when I did that, I removed these small ones. And it fits, diameter-wise, it fits just over the wire that came with the micro air. So I have... I had two extra of these anyway for my two units, so that works out. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get started and see how well these work. Monitor the app. The app is more of a diagnosis tool. It's diagnostics tool. It's not really intended to just constantly monitor. Uh, so, but you can see what your your startup surge is in the beginning and how it's improving as it learns. So, uh, and I'm sure you've noticed. Not only that I'm in front of the camera, which feels a little odd, but that I have a mic. So it's a $20 Amazon mic, so that shows how committed I am to the channel. <laughs> but I did that for a couple reasons. The, it seems like most of the time I'm filming in here from anywhere, and there's a lot of noise from the inverters if the sun's out. So uh, it should help. And speaking of the inverters, they were, well, earlier, but also yesterday, at their highest charging amperage that I've had so far. So they were over 200 amps they were charging at. So I'm gonna be approaching the max hopefully this summer and see how, how much I get. Uh, but anyway, while they're doing that, you get a lot of background noise and this is supposedly anyway, supposed to cut down on that. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'll get out there and I will help. I will film some of the installation. It is sort of specific to the brand you have. So me pointing out a specific color, a wire, or location isn't really going to help you very much, but their directions are fantastic, like I said, online. So yeah, I'll just show you some of the things I'm going through with it and my thoughts on the app and the, the item itself. All right, I'll see you out there. All right, I'm out here. I am not an electrician, by the way, just to let you all know that before uh, I actually started wiring anything or you see anything to do with wires. Oh, you can hear the chickens in the background, too. 
pull the fuse to this before you do any work on the AC unit. You can flip the breakers inside too and pull this fuse. Keep in mind that the capacitor in the unit, which is this, needs like 15 minutes to discharge. So after you pull it, after it's been disconnected, don't do anything on the unit until then. So here's my unit, the capacitor, whatever all <laughs> these other things are, they're on the directions. Um, I have to screw, uh, drill through this plate here on the bottom. So this is my first unit. I have another one over there. Uh, so I'm going to be using one of these bits, a uh, taper bit or I forget the name other people call them. But So they have measurements on them. If you haven't used one of these yet, they're awesome. The measurements aren't coming into focus for some reason. Anyway, yeah, so really, really nice. Uh, but the cheap ones on Amazon... They, they don't start well, so they're they're self-tapping, but not really. So they actually come with a punch, but I found it easier if you're just going to buy the cheap ones, which they are triple the price from Lowe's and stuff like that, but they tap, they start a lot easier. But I found it easy if you just have a little metal cutting screw, you can screw through. So I'm going to be going, it's kind of tight here, but I'm going to be going right behind the VIN number there, and I'm going to be mounting the box probably on the cover itself. So there we go, all done. I've got it right behind the VIN number. The uh, grommet will go right through there. Uh, just fits. So also, when you use these bits, it um, especially in these tight areas, it'll spit hot shavings all over your arms and face, which is a plus. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're doing it. You want safety glasses, and uh, actually long sleeves would be nice too. They're hot as lava, but it, it works really well. So on to the next phase. So this unit is officially wired up. I located the Herm, which is on my capacitor and all the other wires. You have to actually cut one of the wires and splice it in. And then the white goes to that part. Um, but yeah, the, the again, the wiring is going to be different for your unit. If, if you have a, something different than a train. Um, and then I am going to zip tie this back in with that because it, it i mean you don't really go into this cover too often i just didn't want it pushing against there so this is actually an overkill solar zip tie <laughs> they make great zip ties right actually they make great bmss i, I want to do a a five or a six month review coming up on their uh, bmss i put their link in the description on all my videos now but yeah the, i really like their bmss but uh yeah i'm gonna zip tie this in and uh, put the cover on and then I'll start to check my amperage because what the app will show me my original startup amperage and then after it's learned. So yep, I'm gonna get started with that. I am finished installing both of these on both units and I used, um, you can use screws too, to the cover or wherever you can in there or ideally again, if they could fit inside, that's good. On these, they can't. So I use magnets, hook magnets that you can get off Amazon, the 50-pound ones. I saw another guy, and I would credit him if I remembered who it was, but I watched a video a while back on, on a guy that used this technique. They're absolutely solid on there. It's not quite as permanent as a screw, so you, you've got some adjustment. But uh, I just thought that was a cool idea, so that's how I mounted both of them. Really easy. Just click on. So, yeah, it's a good option. So this is the part of the video where I wrap everything up. Uh, yeah, I really like the units so far. They have decreased my starting amps. Looks like, well, they're still learning. So it looks like uh, five or six amps on one unit, and the other unit hasn't really started up enough times uh, to measure. So I'll place, I will seamlessly patch in a photo of what the app looks like here. And uh, it's... The second unit I had, I had some questions on wiring, and so I was able to actually send them a report in to check on it just to make sure I had everything right. So I really like the Bluetooth aspect of it that way. Otherwise, you don't really do anything else with the Bluetooth. It's just for you know, checking on it as you first start it up, and if there's any issues or problems, it's easy for them to diagnose, and they can send you back what they see. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Very easy installation. As long as you follow the directions, take your time. And, uh, yeah, I would recommend them. Uh, not bad. I think with our two 
inverters here, we're going to be at 13,000 kilowatts we have max. With both of those running, they're going to be using, not including any startup surge, they're going to be using around three with both of them running at the same time to 3,500 watts. So I still have, definitely have some leeway, some wiggle room, but you know, I have well, uh, occasionally drier oven. So it's always a juggling act. So we're looking forward to the challenge. Summer is usually our largest consumption of the year as far as with electric. So uh, we have a wood stove for heat. So that's not an issue for us in the winter. But in the summer, we use a lot of electricity. So I'm anxious to see how well these will help uh, with the units that start up surge. Even if they just bring it down a little bit, that's going to help with all the other loads we're going to have on it too. So I'll keep you guys posted as I go through the summer. If anyone's interested, I can send you know an update on what they're looking like as they learn more and as they the, the startup amps decrease. But so far, so good. Yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys. I've got another couple things in mind coming soon for videos. Thanks again. Uh, one more thing, guys. I, I meant to mention I deliberately skipped the unboxing portion of the video. Uh, that A lot of people put that into reviews. I've never understood that. But just so you guys know, they did come in a box. The box can be opened, and there is an easy start inside the box. So uh, in case you were worried about that portion of it, it does come with a box. But yeah, I'm going to continue that trend. Uh, any of my reviews or anything I do on that, I'm not going to be opening a box with a shocked look on my face. Uh, so I hope not, no one was expecting that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue that trend from now on. Anyway, thanks for watching.